Yo, what's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are doing well today. And today we're gonna do another Race to Division 1 episode. Now I know you guys have been waiting for a trading episode and I will come out with a trading episode probably tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. We'll talk about the market a little bit. Xbox One coming out in four days. I saw my credit card get charged today because I pre-ordered it, so I'm excited to get it on Friday. And we will be uploading next-gen FIFA content on Friday, of course. So we're gonna have some next-gen Ultimate Team. But... In any case, if you guys missed the previous episode, I ended up staying into Division 4. And that's because I kept switching formations and I got a disconnect loss and then two draws at the end. We were in really good shape to get promoted. We had four wins and I think one draw and one loss. So we were in really good shape. But that, but then we uh, ended up getting a freeze loss and then we drew two times in our last two remaining games. So a very disappointing way to stay in Division 4. But this time I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and make a team with a formation that I'm comfortable with so that we can go ahead and progress and get to division three so i made this 442 hybrid and i really like the way this looked on paper if you look at it it's got a, a great great player in every single position and uh, I really wanted to try Inform Sanchez. He looks to be a beast. He's got great stats. The only thing I don't like about him, guys, is got he's got a high attacking work rate and a high defensive work rate, which is something I don't like on a striker. If he was a midfielder, in fact, I may think about changing him to a center mid or maybe even play him as a central defensive mid. Obviously, he doesn't have any good defending stats, but maybe as a false central defensive mid, he would be good in this formation. So we'll see what to do. Now, in our first match, we come up against a 4-1-2-1-2, mostly La Liga team, and I was feeling really comfortable now it is raining and i hate playing in the rain but benzema taking matters into his own hands with a fake shot scoops inside and then a great finish right off the post into the back of the net 16 minutes in we end up getting the first goal of the match so a very very nice goal by benzema there we're gonna take another look at that he actually took two or three defenders on his own there right here with a step over to go inside and then a great shot clips the post into the net so we find ourselves up but right here he goes for a shot goes out for a goal kick and look what happens I try to get it to my central defensive mid but it doesn't switch until the last second it was holding on Chiellini which really got me in trouble and then this one goes right off the post falls to Diego Costa Costa just goes ahead taps it in for the equalizer and now we're at 1-1 after I was feeling very comfortable this match I thought I was in control but conceding that goal really made me think twice and started slowing things down here we're gonna find a 1-2 pass Sanchez is through on goal all he has to do is finish and that has got to be the worst finesse shot on this game that I've ever seen he was alone one-on-one -on -one with the keeper maybe the rain had something to do with it but the second half approaches Costa out muscles a defender gets it to Benzema with the header off the post and then right back to Benzema who's gonna put it in and he's up to one now guys just just like that I find myself down a terrible way to go ahead and concede if you guys look at that so two goals go right off the post back to his player Benzema takes a shot on goal but his keeper goes ahead and makes a great diving save to make sure that things are still his way. David Villa now, a fake shot, cuts inside, off his defender. And guys, we end up losing that one. We end up losing that one. 2-1, to one, so we start Division 4 off with a loss. A terrible way to start off. Unfortunately, I didn't get the match stats showing there, but we actually had way more shots on goal. We ended up losing 2-1. to one. So we're going to hop right into our second game this, this episode. And as you guys can see, he's got a great City A team. 4-2-3-1. Lots of pace. So I knew this was going to either be some guy who was going to cross down the wings and cross to Ibarbo. Ibarbo is a great target man, to be honest with you guys. If you cross to him, he wins everything in the air for whatever reason. And right away, as you guys can see, late in the first half when we finally get some action going because we neither could get any shots on goal, he's going to go down the wings, but Jordi Alba out muscles Biabiani. So we actually end up playing good defense, clear the ball out. And then it falls right back to his player. Look at the amount of space Daniele Di Rossi has. We get lucky that he doesn't take a shot. Chiellini at the last second in with the tackle. Pogba with a great through ball to Benzema. Benzema's through on goal and a beauty of a finish from outside of the box. Give the man a salute for playing good defense all first half. Later on though, second half now, we get the ball to David Villa who makes an error, loses possession, then another error, and he's going to get me on the counterattack. But luckily, we've got pacey center backs here, and Ibarbo has trouble fighting off Mexa. So we end up playing good defense, and we end up turning that good defense into 
poor offense by just giving him the ball right back. He goes for a little chip through ball, but again, our center back's in great position. So very happy with the defense on this team so far. Not conceding, but David Villa then, late in the second half, goes for the cross. Handanovic comes out and actually deflects that cross, and then it goes off Benzema to go out for a goal kick. Again, though, he's going to go down the wings. I make a mistake. He's going to make a great play, finding none other than Ibarbo completely unmarked. A defensive collapse by my behalf, guys. Completely got annihilated on the defensive side of things. And now it's equalized 1-1. But David Villa says, you know what? Let me take matters into my own hands. A nice little bit of skilling and a finesse shot that rolls right under the keeper into the right corner. David Villa with a great, great play here. Look at this one. Step overs to go ahead and split the defense, then a roulette to get rid of another defender, and then a great finish, a great, great goal by David Villa. But 90th minute now, we end up playing good defense, but we need to continue playing good defense here. He does a great job maintaining possession, finding the open man. Abate with a great pass. Chiellini has it. Tried clearing it out, and he passes it right to his player. 90th minute comes. He ends up scoring the equalizer, guys. And that's just karma getting back to me. I told you guys two episodes ago that eventually this is going to happen to me because I've scored so many 90-minute goals. You guys see he had two shots and two goals. The worst way to end up starting this Division 4 run with one loss and one draw. So, we got to get back in form as uh, people are calling me, trying to tell me how much I'm bad. So, that's how this one's going to end, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like. It really helps me out. And if you guys want to see daily FIFA content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I mean, what else are you going to do? Catch you guys all tomorrow. Later.